Hey everybody, how's it going? Red Eye Jedi here. Uh, welcome to Flare Daily. And before I get started, I just wanted to show everybody that I am now on Instagram. You can find me at Red Eye Jedi underscore seventy seven um, on Instagram. I also have this cool thing right here. It's direct dot me. And then it'll be Red Eye Jedi. So direct me forward slash Red Eye Jedi. And it will have all the links. I'm still updating this and trying to fix it all up. But these are pretty much all the links to the platforms I'm on um, to make it easy to find all the content that I post. Um, all right. So going off of that, over here on BitTrue. Flare today at the moment is at $1.71, almost 72 cents, with a 24 hour change of a positive 14.66%, with a 24 hour high of $1.74, basically 75 cents, and a low 24 hour of $1.50. Which is amazing because this asset is not even out yet. And just keep in mind, this is an IOU. The real Flare tokens will not be traded until the Flare network goes live. Which um, uh, Hugo Filion uh, did state that he was looking towards the end of June. Um, for the Flare Network launch, so that is when you get the real tokens. Um, but so yes, very nice. A dollar, okay, dollar seventy right now, but very nice, very beautiful high. And look at over here at XRP, just real quick, because you know Flare Network is built on top of the XRP network. So XRP right now is at a dollar forty, with a two point six percent change positive of course well of course anyways um now jump over here to the flare unfortunately we had some issues for the launch so now it's being delayed just a little longer um don't freak out once everything is getting ready to launch again they're going to give everyone a notice they're not going to just flip a switch and open a network i hope um and i doubt it because they did change the cost and uh, address. So over here on my MetaMask, like, let me go over here to cost and let's see if it's working. If you notice that this one says 2.3 because um, there was a change in the RPC address. And now I'm going to just try the reg regular. Yeah, see, neither one is loading right now. Um, basically, they updated the RPC addresses and Everything is down right now, so if you have the correct RPC, you can view everything, which unfortunately I cannot. Um, but I will go over everything a lot more when the time is right. So, with that being said, and this, sorry, I'm just clicking down. Uh, this I'll go over more. This is how to set your uh, testnet wallet up, but the, like I said, the RPC is going to be different, so please don't freak out once everything is going it will be going <laughs> um, all right now I found this article uh, I came across it because I saw Trustline was on Twitter yesterday uh, mentioning that they had their own RPC um, link whatever for the MetaMask competition so I, I And I found this article over here on Medium, and I'm going to go ahead and read this to you. So it's, uh, Property is available on Testnet. Property has been officially launched on Flare's cost in Testnet. Head on over to property.finance to check it out. Also make sure to join the official Telegram and Discord groups to report any feedback, difficulties, or bugs. So for that, I'm going to just go ahead and open a new tab okay so only testnet sparks okay collateral now this um i'm going to go over more and the article that i'm going to read is going to go over this 
Um, and basically you just connect your wallet to this and then you'll have these different options as we go through. So let's go back over here to property. Property is a decentralized application DAP that allows users to deposit crypto into a smart contract system that mints a crypto collateralized, collateralized stablecoin called ARI. Users can use crypto collateral to borrow the ARI stablecoin. Meanwhile, suppliers earn interest. This release is an early alpha version, meaning that it is not feature complete. It is intended to provide users with a sandbox environment to learn about the system and provide feedback prior to the mainnet launch later this year. There are a lot of enhancements planned for property and the ARI stablecoin. You can view the public roadmap here. To learn more about property, you can start using the DAP using guide below. Um, now, from what I'm, I, I haven't read this article yet, so I'm going over this with you now. And from what I'm kind of getting a vibe to is, and property, if I'm mistaken, you know, hit me up and let me know, um, or trust line, let me know. Um, but what I think you're doing is you, this is for us to set up to go ahead and test out your network which I mean is cool you know like I'm down um, so guides prequisites make sure that you have MetaMask browser extension installed you must create an account and set up the cost and test network and grab some CFLR the steps should look something like this um, and basically yeah you would go ahead and create a custom RPC you enter that information below uh, that this RPC endpoint uses Trustline's public node, and we recommend you use this URL instead of Flare's public node. See Flare's tweet here for context. Grab some CFLR on the cost and faucet, click your account name where it partially shows the public key uh, to copy the public key to keyboard. Okay. Getting started. When you navigate the DAP, you'll notice the banner with the message you must connect your wallet, which I showed you on the other page, before using this app. Go ahead and pr press the connect button to connect to your account. If you have your MetaMask wallet set up properly, you should see the screen below. Um, and you know what, maybe, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just read the article and keep it short, but what I can do um, and let me know down in the comments below if you think you, if you want me to go ahead and do this. So I, if you want, I can go ahead and do this tonight. I'll go ahead and create a wallet just for the property and then we'll go ahead and check out the network. Um, just to make sure everything's working right and I don't want the wallet for it with their RPC to affect my competition. Um, I'm going to have my own separate competition wallet, but I will create one just to check their stuff out. So, uh, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you want to see me do the whole setup and run down. Um, so, managing your vault. Head on over to the vault page from the navigation bar. Here you can deposit or withdraw CFLR Testnet Spark in order to take out a loan or earn yield since the Testnet, no real funds are actually being used here until the mainnet arrives. Um, you may notice that the CFLR USD price is $1. For full transparency, the price Oracle FTSO has not been integrated. That is coming soon, and you can see where it sits on the public roadmap. Go ahead and deposit into the smart contract. MetaMask will pop up and ask you to confirm. If all goes well, you should see the transaction go through. Um, okay, so it shows them depositing some FLR. Add capital. Capitalization is the process of supplying the smart contract with funds for lending from which you can earn yield. Get started, or to get started, navigate to the capital management page and select the issue activity. You will be prompted to input the amount of CAUR, Testnet ARI, that you want to supply. 
as well as the CFLR collateral that is being that is backing the ARI. Note that you must maintain at least a 150% collateral ratio at all times. Otherwise, your position will be a, at risk of being liquidated. It is possible to, to increase the collateral supporting your position at any time to reduce the liquidation risk. Another quick disclosure, the liquidation process is not yet implemented, but is coming soon. So that's interesting. I was curious on um, what that AUR was um, <laughs> down there, because you can see down here it says CAUR, and so I yeah I was always curious about that too. So that's our the ARI. ARI is AUR. So we'll go ahead and check that out more. I'm getting kind of uh, interested in this. Once you supplied CFLR to the system, the collateral is locked and cannot be withdrawn from your vault until you redeem it on this page. You can redeem your supply side collateral at any time. I'm sorry, I keep hearing some kind of, I don't know who's making that noise, that's craziness. Anyways. Be right back. All right, sorry about that. That's the neighbor. So if the noise bothers you, not my fault. I'm sorry. All right. Anyways, um, once you've supplied CFLR to the system, the collateral is locked, and you cannot and cannot be withdrawn from your vault until you redeem it on this page. You can redeem your supply side collateral at any time. Take out a loan. Borrowing ARI is easy. Go ahead and navigate to the Loans page and select the Borrow Activity. You may enter an amount and ARI that you wish to borrow and provide at least 150% of collateral to secure the borrow. Please note that the same liquidation risk applies if your collateral value falls below the minimum level. No, you can add a custom token in MetaMask for ARI. The contract address is, and it's right here below. Um, I'll go ahead and put a link to this or, uh, article down below so you can do this yourself if you'd like. Um, the APR is a variable and is updated every time a loan is created or repaid. The APR is determined by the amount of ARI supplied and the formula can be found here. Another disclosure, the user interface only shows the current APR and not the APR you will receive after taking out your loan. This feature will come in a future update. So very interesting. Um, you know, I would like to, I, I seriously am gonna create a wallet just to check out their, their uh, no. Conclusion. There are still the early days for a property and the RE stablecoin. There are plenty of improvements to be made and bugs to be fixed between now and the main mainnet launch. Please review the fact first uh, for any questions. Your feedback is welcome and you can submit a support ticket to report any issues or comments. So I do suggest um, that if you do try this property thing to join their discord um telegram is a uh a, a whatever um i'm not too fond of telegram it's okay um i like discord more it has a lot more features um and usually easier to get a hold of people so check it out um very interesting i will try it um but i like i said don't do not use your competition wallet for this um, this is cool to check out to create your own wallet on um, and i know they say that you can use their um, rpc but i don't know about that just because just because i don't know if that is going to mess up our competition right you know it i don't know if like if property has an issue on their side if that's going to affect our tokens because we've had issues in the past with you know uh, tokens and 
stuff um, in the past contest before everything went down the first time. Um, so just, you know, a rule of caution. You want to check it out? Cool, do it, but create your own wallet. Do not um, use your competition wallet for this. So very good um, article, good reason to read it. So you all know what, what this is all about. Um, you know, I do, I would support Trustline and Property, so check them out. Check out the RE coin and how they do everything. And if it's something you feel like investing in the future, it's cool. Now you know what it's all about, right? All right, everybody. Um, so that's it for this. I was trying to keep it very short. Um, check out my direct.me forward slash red eye Jedi for all of my links. I will have this down in the description below. Um, check out, you know, my Instagram, you know, come say hi, give me a follow. As you notice right now, I only have five followers. I just got on today, like this afternoon. Um, so check it out. There's some good material there. Uh, I'm going to be creating a video right after this one, um, which is my crypto, my crypto Monday uh, video. And I got some cool information to share. So I will catch you guys later. Bye.